Hey, what's going on guys? Dustpox back here playing some more Pixelmon for you. So as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of work. Um, I just got done mining a ton of stuff. Ton, 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 ton of stuff. And we are um, about to do stuff. Yay! So I've been, uh, I've been watching my videos back a lot lately, and my grandma actually found out that I've been doing YouTube videos. And my grandma is a middle school teacher. She also teaches some college classes down at one of the local universities. And she told me, she started watching my videos, and she's like, Kyle, you gotta stop saying, um, every five seconds in your videos. And I said, oh, yeah, I didn't realize I've been doing that. So, I'm gonna be doing my best to stop saying um, and uh, and um, and uh, it almost sounds like a little song. But I've got this apricorn patch going now. Actually, it's growing a lot quicker now that most of the trees are growing up. And most of the, the boxes here, I've got them labeled, started to fill them up. So this is going good, so we can start making Pokeballs. I made a, uh, there it is again, I said nah, gosh dang it. I killed a boss Pokemon, I got myself a nest ball, so I think those are good for uh, flying type Pokemon? Not quite sure, but what we need to do today, I've already got most of the the bauxite that I've collected while I was mining already cooking up here, but let me go over what I got. I got a couple stacks of redstone feathers, that's from just walking around. Uh, I got lots of iron, a little bit of gold, uh, lapis lazuli, tons of emeralds, and just a few diamonds, a couple stacks of coal. I actually used the smaller stack I had to start, oh shut up phone, to start working on my aluminum, bauxite to aluminum, yum 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 yum. So what we need to do today, I need to start working on making a pokeball, a couple pokeballs, because I want to start working on something else. But uh, the first the first Pokemon I want to get is a zombie Gyarados, but we're not going to be doing that today, so it's not going to be the first Pokemon we get. So let's go around and we'll start building our team. We'll also start building up Mudkip. I wanted to show you some of the Pokemon centers that I found also. And I also want to start talking about what we are going to start doing with our base. So let's start with the base since we're already over here. The original idea was to use this cave. And I'll show you what I did over here. I cleared out most of the gravel in there. And that's that. So there was a giant stack of gravel, if you recall, right here in the middle. And all I did was just get it out. And it's all lit up. I went up around here and I found this area and I decided this is where I want to have my base because it's a lot cooler looking. What I want to do is have like sort of, originally I wanted like a disc coming out around here, sort of retro, new age, modern style build with glass and have giant glass walls going up to the top of here and then it come off at the top. On the inside I wanted it to be like, like all earthy, like modern new age style, I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Um, so I went through here, and I this wasn't here. I made that. But I went all the way through here and just you know saw what there is, and I really like it over here. I think this will be a cool little lookout area. Not quite sure for what yet, though. Then I thought, you know what? It would be really cool if I could use this cave to get up to that area. So I dug this out really, really sloppy and made this little tunnel. And now we're up here. Ooh, leather. We need to make boots. We need boots. Alright. See, I almost said uh there, but I said I turned it into an alright. <laughs> Man, this is, this is getting good. So anyway, let's go start training up Mudkip, but... Hmm. Let's see, I, I think I remember how to make those boots of swiftness. That'll be good. So I'm going to title this video, How to Make Boots of Swiftness in Pixelmon. <laughs> so let's see. Alright. Did it again. Where's all my iron? I know I have some cooked stuff here. Oh, let's put all this away. I don't need to be carrying it around anymore. And then I think I've got some more coal over here, but... You know what? We'll take all of that. And that. I found a couple other really cool things while I was doing my exploration. Oh, I did have more bauxite. Let's use that. You can go in, you can go in, you can go in, you can go in. Actually, I needed you. Let's throw the bauxite in here. Da, 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 da. Now I have leather somewhere. Lots of it. There we go. So we need to make a pair of boots. Das boots. So we got our boots, and I think it's it's this. Iron. Like that. And feathers. There we go. Old running shoes. Sweet. So that'll increase our speed as we run around and help us to... Oh yeah, look at that, 50% speed boost. That helps a lot. This is going to be good. Alright, so let's run over to 
the first Pokemon Center that I found, and on our way we will we will uh, we'll train Mudkip and possibly evolve him today. Maybe we'll come across a cool bird Pokemon or something that we can use this nest ball on. I mean, I'm sure you can use it on any Pokemon. It's just going to be a normal catch rate. It just won't be an increased catch rate. So we're going to have to find a low-leveled Pokemon. So I was watching I was watching Mr. Bean's Holiday last night. I was up to like 3 in the morning just watching that movie. There it is. Hello. And it was, uh, it was, it brought back a lot of memories. I remember seeing it when I was not super little, but a little bit older, but still kind of little, with my dad and one of my best friends at the time, Cody, and we just thought it was the funniest thing ever. Let's kill Vulpix, because we got Water Gun now. Yeah, I did a little bit of training, so he's got some new moves. He's got Water Gun and Bide, and I don't know if he had Mud Slap in the last episode or not, but anyway, so it was funny. I laughed. I lulled. Yes. Had another part-timer- oh, oh, huh? What? Mudkip is evolving. Do not cancel that. Marsh Tump, Marsh Tump, Marsh Tump. Uh, oh, cool. I forgot that they added new uh, evolving animations to this thing. I can't wait till they start adding, like, battle animations. So, like, if you use Water Gun, it's actually gonna shoot, like, a beam of water or something. Oh, look how cute he is! He's still no Swampert, but now we got Mud Shot. 55. Let's get rid of Mud Slap, because that's stupid. So now we've got mud shot, woot woot. But yeah, here's the first thingamajigger I found. This is not lighting up very well, but we can use some of the stuff in here for materials. Is this is this iron? Those might be iron blocks, are they? Oh no, it's quartz. No, oh, that sucks. Well, I guess we don't need. Can can you uncraft quartz? No, you can't. That's too bad. We could have used it instead of having to go to the nether. All right. All right. Let's see. Need to find a way to get these lights to turn on somehow. How do we get out of here? It is nighttime, and I don't like it. All right. Let's go find something else to kill, and then we'll head back. Uh, on our way back, we'll find something else to kill, and then I'll show you some of the other stuff that I found. Oh, there's another Vulpix. Let's kill him slash her. Ah, it's too low of a level. It won't really boost us at all. I can't wait to use my marsh tomp. <laughs> all right. Maybe maybe we'll go to sleep for the night, and we'll wake up in the morning, and we'll start working on the base a little bit. Oh, hello, Sea King. Yeah, I just shot you all the way across that lake, river, man lantern. Okay. Oh no, giraffe rig. Well, let's try mud shot. See how that fights against you. No, we are so screwed. We are gonna die. Alright, we died. Okay. Um so the next so we we need a we need a fire type and we need a grass type. We need a flying type and we need I don't know, I don't know if I wanna go with a fighting type or not. Oh, is that a bag on? <gasps> oh, it's level six. I'm going to take a chance here. Because I love bag on and I love salamance. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Come here, where'd you go? Oh, you suck! Stop moving. Oh man, I I have the aim of a philosopher. Thing. Oh, there's the Pokeball. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, okay. Wasted that ball. So let's go back up to our little base, go to sleep, and come back in the morning and start making Pokeballs. Or should we start working on what we're supposed to be working on? I don't know. I don't know. The choices are limitless. Maybe maybe we'll go up and we'll just start working on the dome part. How is this coming along, by the way? Okay, we got that all done. So, let's go up. as a giant onyx. Let's go up this way, and we'll use this cobblestone. Oh, I forgot about the diamonds and the emeralds that I had on me. Oopsie-daisy. That could have been bad. And the lapis. I think there's crafting recipes that involve lapis in this mod. I don't rightly remember. But I love my boots of swiftness. What are they called? Old running shoes. Alright, I want to get rid of this tree. I like it, but we're going to have trees on the inside, so it doesn't really matter. And then, that's what we'll do first. We'll just get rid of the tree. Take it one step at a time, Dust. You can do this. And then we need to start a tree farm. Man, we got so much to do. I Because this is going to be wood, stone, glass. It's gonna. I've got ideas for this. It's going to be really cool. 
I should have made a thing. Do I have any wood on me? I do, and I've got my crafting table. Maybe we'll make an axe. Crafting table, go. Alright. Just make it out of stone. Don't need anything too fancy. I've been doing better with the ums. That's good. This is my goal, not to say um, or uh. So I have to say I don't want to say it so that I can say it so that I don't feel bad about when I don't say it. Words? Does that make any sense? <sighs> nope. Not at all. Alright, so that's going to disintegrate. Hey, Golet. Are we back up to full health? We are. Should we fight this guy? What are we? Level 16 versus level 16? He's psychic. He's psychic ground. So water gun should be pretty effective against him. Yay! He fainted. Out of anxiety. Alright, get out of here. Now let's let's lay out a couple different half rings or quarter rings or something like that just to see where we want it to start. And then we'll head back down and we'll go look at it again. Alright, alright. Right. You want to start it kind of out. I'd imagine. And then I don't know like what level I want it to start at. So we're gonna We're gonna place one right here. What did I do? Just a couple there. Two things of three, right? I think that's even. I don't know. Let's go check and see how it looks from the bottom. They bulge them up. Does these take damage? I don't think so. If I could get Feather Falling 4 on those, that would be great. Just saying. That's way too far out. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't like it. It's way too far. It needs to be a little bit less than that. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut that back. Excuse me, we're gonna cut that back. I want it to be just shooting out of, out of the place. But, oh wait, I forgot to look. Is that a good height? And is that a good place to start it? It's a pretty good height, but it needs to be it needs to be really, really brought in. Well, let's take a step back even further and take a look. Well Yeah, I I, I don't I wanna be able to see it from pretty much any angle. Cause if we had it, if we were standing underneath it, it would be like this giant dark spot under here and I don't want that. Oh boy. It has been it's been a rough couple days, guys. I uh, I started Started recording again, I'm really happy about that. Started talking to some of the guys on Chexmex and Erijah's server again. And been... Oh, really? Really? Son of a gun. This is why we have those running boots. You know, I don't... The, the new running shoes, they take diamonds, but they also... You only get to use them for, like, so many steps. I think it's kind of pointless to have those. When, when, when they're done using all those steps, they turn back into old running boots, but it's so pointless, it wastes two diamonds after, you know, only a thousand or so steps. Oh my gosh, stop texting me right now. I'm in the middle of something, lady. Alright. So how far back should we pull this? Maybe we'll pull it back to there. No, we need to go even further. Because I want it to be probably connecting right there, so it needs to go... Needs to be right here is where it needs to be. It's a good spot for it to start. Maybe we'll just start the curve from the other side, I guess. Alright. For those of you who are wondering, um, I started, or I've, I've been, you know, I just moved into my house. I don't have a place for a desk or anything, so I've been using my dining room table as a desk. And it's... It's alright. It's... it's 
it's right next to my refrigerator, so every once in a while the fan turns on, so it's not really the best area to record in. So I apologize for all the fan noise that you're gonna be hearing, you know, from from now on for a little bit until I can really find a place where I want to be for reels recording. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's dramatically different, but it's going to be it's gonna make it look so much better. So let's go over there and what we'll do. I have no clue how I'm gonna do this. Maybe we'll just hmm. It's gotta be it's gotta be nice looking. And right now we're just making the outline for it. And I eventually want to move all my junk up here too. Alright, so let's take you off. And we'll 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 make it a little bit further. Nope. Need a whalemer pail too. Go over two that way. And we'll go four and then does that kind of line up as the center there? It looks like it. So then we'll go two. And I had a one. And I had two going out this way. And then that connects up right there, I suppose. Huh. All right, let's take a look. Come here, cobblestone. <laughs> it's okay. I think we can deal with that. Are you dead? No, you're just almost dead. What level are you? 17? I don't know if I want to take you. All right, so that's kind of the basic idea. I'm going to fiddle fart around with this a little bit off camera uh, in a little while, but let's, let's, go, let's go make some Pokeballs. So the first thing we need is going to be this. I'm going to need to make... So like another crafting table, and we'll move it over there. We'll make a little Pokeball making area of this place. And I think I'll put it, I think I'll put it right here for now. So let's grab this, and we'll grab that. We'll put this down here, and we'll put this down here. And then we'll make us a an anvil. Let's see, make an anvil, right? No. Huh. How do you make an anvil? I swear it was... Something like this. Huh. Okay, maybe... Maybe I don't remember. Hold on, let me, let me pull up the wiki. Because I've got it on my phone, or I had it on my phone. Where are you? Come here. Pixelmon Wiki. And we will go to Recipes. And while that loads, we will take this all back and check it out. All right, so the anvil... Oh, it's iron. Silly me. That was probably really loud. I was right in the microphone when I said that. My bad, guys. So, we'll go over this way, and we will grab us our iron. I'm so apologetic. I had that put in here. Yeah. Okay. See, the, the difficult thing is there's aluminum, and then there's iron, and they look very similar. Look. They're the same, not the same gray, but they're the same col not the same color, the same shape. And they're both gray, so it's hard to see when trying to decide what you need to do. There we go. Anvil time away. Let's put that guy down. All right, next we need to make, is it like that? No, all right, I think you just take one of these guys. Yeah, all right, cool. So the next thing we need is a hammer. We'll make an iron one for now. Iron hammer, if I had a hammer. And then what you do is you just keep left clicking on this guy until it flattens out enough till you get a little plate. All right, there we got our little plate. Where'd he go? There he is. All right, let's also start cooking some of these because I want to make Ultra Balls. 
And I do not have any things, so we'll just use that. All right, next thing we gotta do is take that plate, we gotta throw it on here and make a disc thing. Wait. Oh, bummer. I think it's, I think you gotta click it on this side. No. Okay, hold on. Crafting recipe time. Man, this is, I'm such a genius with Pixelmon, aren't I, guys? Alright, here we go. I found it. Oh, that's right. You take, it's more iron. You take the iron and go like that, and you get the disc, iron discs, and then you take the iron discs, and you put them on here, and then you hammer them out. Right, that should be an iron disc, or a, a iron base, excuse me. We're going to make a couple of these, and then we'll just make a small little stack of ultra balls. I think I'm going to go get a haircut today. It's a nice thing about being an adult on your own. You get to decide when you do things and blah, blah, blah. Those all cooked now? Nope. But... We do have enough to make some Ultra Balls, I suppose. So let's grab some of these. Throw these in here, black apricorns, and we'll just toss that in there too. And we'll keep making these iron discs. Because we're going to need, I think it's going to make four of them, and we'll make four Ultra Balls, and maybe, maybe we'll go out and catch our first Pokemon today. Yep, and uno mas. Hooray! So how's it going, guys? I'm doing pretty well myself. And you're done. So let's grab, oops. Let's grab some of you guys. And then we'll make the top portion of this. That's how you make a Ultra Ball, isn't it? I'm fairly certain that's how you make an Ultra Ball. Oh, nope, it's backwards. That's how you make our Ultra Ball discs. Okay, so let's get some more of that black apricorns. Wait, why does that happen? Oh, and another ball disc that we missed. And then, oops, you're the wrong one. And then we'll hammer these guys out. And we'll have a couple Ultra Balls, and then we'll go out and try to catch a Pokemon. I like that guy over there. Look at him standing, he's all cool and stuff. And then two more. This is the fun stuff right here, guys. This is like the most entertaining to watch, isn't it? Sorry. All right. So let's throw some of this so we can get some buttons. Oh, wait. Do I just take a... No, it's got to be smooth stone. That's right. And here we go. Last one. And we'll make some ultra balls. Ultra, ultra, ultra balls. How would you describe your balls? They are ultra. Alright. Two buttons, if you'd please. And then we'll place the buttons there, we'll place that there, we'll place that there. And then we have two ultra balls. Tools them. Wait, is that... Is that really all we have? Oh, we can make one more. Oh, come here. And you. And we've got ourselves some Poco Ultra Moths. Alright, so let's go out and what is our health here? Let's go take a nap. And then we'll go and try to catch our first Pokemon today. Time to go see Professor Oak about my first Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. Sleepy time for Dust Pox. I sure hope the volume is good enough on this today, guys. I sure do. Alright. Hmm. Oh, yes, I love Zora. He's seriously, like, one of my favorite Pokemon in the world. Let's catch him. We need a dark type anyway. Alright, just don't kill us. I think he's got a really low catch rate, too. Alright, bag, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball... 
I wish you would zoom in on the Pokeball or when it oh there it is. Do do. Stay. Come on. Come on, Zora. Oh, you suck. Fake tears on Marsh Tom. Um, let's tackle him, maybe. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, you suck! You suck, you suck, you suck. Oh, that sucks so bad. I shouldn't have tackled him. I should have just let it go. I should have just should have let it happen. What are we at for health? 23 out of Ugh, I love Zora and now he's dead. Alright, we'll find we'll find another one. His his evolution is awesome, so we kinda have to. It's not it's not a choice. Primate? Primate! <laughs> you can't you can't say the name of a Pokemon without saying the way that they say it. Did that make sense? I sure hope so. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Any other Pokemon sitting around here? Oh, what are you? Pidgey? No, we don't need a Pidgey. We don't need no stinking Pidgey. Also, the cave systems around here are awesome. I'm still thinking about having part of our base underground. Alright. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe we will... End the episode here, and I will work on the base a little bit off-camera, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye!